Hi, welcome to lesson one. In this lesson, we will be writing the code for if is anagram function that checks if one string is an anagram of another. So what is an anagram? Using Google, we can find out. We see here that an anagram is a word or phrase formed by rearranging the letters of a different word or phrase, typically using all of the original letters exactly once. Here are some examples of anagrams. Listen is equal to silent. Mother-in-law is equal to Hitler woman. Debit card is equal to bad credit and so on. In our algorithm, we will assume that our is anagram function is case sensitive, which means that mother-in-law is not an anagram of Hitler woman Firstly, because we won't have any hyphens in Hitler woman. And secondly, because there is no capital M in Hitler woman. But there is a capital M in mother in law. Let's now write our code to test if one string is an anagram of another. Let's find a place to write our C++ code. If we create an empty file, we can rename it with the file extension .cpp. Doing this will allow us to write our C++ code in this empty file. We can begin by importing some libraries that we can use to write our code with. Now we are ready to get started. Ideally what we would like is for our function is anagram to take in two arguments, string one and string two. This would return a one if dog is an anagram of God and zero if they are not anagrams. From the assumption that we made at the beginning of this lesson, we said that our is anagram function should be case sensitive. So dog shouldn't be an anagram of God because there is no capital D in God and there is no capital G in dog. If we change our capital G to a small g and change our capital D to a small d, then these words are now anagrams. We would expect the isAnagram function for these two words to return a 1, since dog is an anagram of God. However, in this example, we would expect our function isAnagram to return a 0. Let's now write the code for this function. There are many ways to solve this problem, but the way I'll show you today is by sorting string one, then sorting string two and checking if string 1 is equal to string 2. Let's do this together. First we will sort string 1 by using the algorithm sort function. To use this function we need to import the algorithm library Now we can make use of the sort function and we can sort string one. Once we've done this, we can then move on to sort string two. 
which is the same command, only with string2. If string1 and string2 are anagrams of each other, then at line 9, we would expect string1 to be equal to string2. So let's test if this is so. And if they're not, we would expect um, that our function should return a false. We can now run our code using the G++ compiler. By doing this, we simply open the terminal where our code is written, make sure our code is saved. If you have a star, at the top of your code here, this means that it's not saved. Simply pressing save will make the star go away. Now we know our code is ready to be executed. We can execute our code by using the G++ compiler. The wall tag will tell us if there's any errors in our code. We can use the tab key to complete the name of our file with our C++ code in it, use the dash O to specify an executable file, which will be the, where the machine language is stored, and use new as the name for this, for this executable file. As you can see, a new was a, a new file was created, which contains our machine language that will be executed when we specify the run command and the file name. <clears throat> As you can see, our program returns the correct result.